The nuclei of atoms are relatively stable, but the electrons move about the nucleus and can move from atom to atom. When atoms react with other atoms, the electrons often interact so that two or more atoms become molecules, or they lose or gain one or more electrons. In either case, it is only the outermost electrons of the atoms, called the valence electrons, that are involved in bonding, and they are responsible for the chemical properties of the element. Each energy level can only take a limited number of electrons. The first energy level can take two electrons. The second and third can each take eight. The fourth and fifth can take 18. And the sixth can take 32. Notice anything? The number of electrons that can be accommodated in the energy levels is the same as the number of elements in the periods of the periodic table. The table reflects the structure of the atoms of elements. This is why the table is so useful. The first energy level can only take two electrons, and the first row of the periodic table has only two elements, hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen only has one electron, but the energy level can take two electrons. As a result, hydrogen is a relatively unstable element and often interacts with other elements. Helium has two electrons, and the first energy level can accommodate two electrons. As a result, helium is very stable and rarely interacts with other elements. In fact, helium is one of the noble gases that are on the right-hand side of the periodic table. The second energy level can accommodate eight electrons, and there are eight elements in the second period of the periodic table. Lithium has only one valence electron. Beryllium has two. And so on until we get to neon, which has eight valence electrons. The valence energy level of neon is full. Neon, like helium, is one of the noble gases. Elements do not interact in a random way. Each atom attempts to interact with other atoms so that the electron configuration of its outer valence energy level is full. It does this by borrowing, lending, or sharing electrons. This is known as the octet rule. As a general rule, the elements on the left-hand side of the periodic table are termed electropositive because they tend to easily lose their outer valence electrons, while those on the right-hand side of the table are electronegative, tending to attract electrons so they can fill their outer energy level. The noble gases are very stable elements because their valence energy level is full of electrons. Chemists can tell almost at a glance how an element will interact with other elements simply by looking at the location of the element on the periodic table.